PSL Data Track is a modular software system for subcontractors whereby you can go through from the initial quotation through to final invoice and manufacturer components. We're here at Will Park in St Ellens to find out how it's improved the efficiency of their company. Bill, you purchased PSL and it's been a great success for you. When did you first get the system? We first bought the system in 2007. Um, we'd looked at several systems before and um, as soon as we saw the PSL demonstration, um, it sort of mirrored what we were doing at the time on Excel spreadsheets. So the transfer of information was pretty, pretty easy for us to see. Basically, we wanted it to show us um, quotations, uh, works orders, purchase orders, uh, and then the add-on from that was that we can do invoicing uh, and QA. So yeah, it's a modular system. You haven't bought all the modules, but the first, the first part of that was the invoicing. How simple is that? The invoicing is really, really easy. Everything's really easy with it. Um, as long as you get your initial information in at the quotation stage, once that's correct, everything transfers forward from there. So invoicing, effectively, I've done it this morning, and it takes me a couple of minutes, and I email them straight off the system. Don't need to print them. Okay, so you've done your initial quotation, you've got the data right. I mean, that sounds like it's key to the system, to keep the process. The initial quotation is key to everything. Um, that's the stage where we, we're sort of quoting the job out, so we're putting cycle times in, we're putting processes such as plating, heat treatment, all that goes in at that stage. Uh, you specify the heat treatment and plating process you require, which then transfers onto your purchase order when you issue it to your subcontractor. Um, you also put in your material requirements and what prices you're looking at for that, any swath reclamation prices. Uh, all that goes into the quotation stage and everything transfers forward. So with that, you say you purchase in your sub so you're doing heat treatment and purchasing materials, that's all dealt with in initial quotation? It is, yeah. You get a material calculation um, based on the size and weight of the material you need and that will then transform, transfer it onto the purchase order as to how many kilos you need. We, we buy mostly in kilos or metres. Um, you've already put the purchase price in so everything is transferred onto your purchase order. Effectively, you, you type in your uh, works order, push it forward, tells you how many kilos you need, what size, what price, you just enter your dates and send your purchase order off. Sounds very simple. Then you've got your works order, so the guys here get that, get that sheet very simple to follow? Yeah, we, what we do is we, 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 try and, we try and reduce as much paper as we can, but obviously drawings and works orders we've got to print. So we will issue the guys with a drawing and a full works order specification and an inspection report sheet. The guy knows what material he's got to make it out of, he knows whether that's come into stock, whether we've received it, because we've booked it in through good receiving, uh, it'll, it'll tell him where the material is, how much he needs, and then he can take it from there onto the machine, and he's away. Sounds simple. And then another module you bought is in terms of gauges, is that right? The QA module is yeah. something we added at a later date. Um, effectively, again, we were, we were using spreadsheets to monitor gauge control. Wasn't entirely effective. Um, the gauge calibration module within data track we can set it for a, either a number of uses yep. or um, a time period and we have a guy now who runs a report every week and it tells him where the gauges are up to in the system and it sounds when you purchase about 2007 is that right financial crisis hitting the financial crisis was hitting us in 2007 so there was a number of changes that we had to make we had looked at these um, these systems beforehand so we're kind of in a, a reasonably good place uh, we had a guy who was doing our accounting for us at the time and um, he left to uh, take a job up at the golf club as a secretary which was opportune for us we brought data tracking and to be fair it was pretty seamless yeah quite perfect in terms of return on investment then you know what sort of return would you get return on investments never really looked at anything like that um, we just feel as though the data track system has made our lives yeah. so much easier yeah. uh, we've got far better control of the system than we ever had before any of the three directors can log into it and see where we're up to um, you've got the board in the, in the, in the office out there 
again, status boards is something we added again at a later date. Uh, that shows us what works orders are due and when they're due and what works orders are overdue. Uh, there's not many of them. I, say, not many, I didn't yeah. see many overdue. <laughs> no, no, we try and keep that to a minimum. But the guys are coming in and out of the office constantly and they can see where we're up to. Yeah. And I think one of the great points you mentioned was about your BSI audits, is that right? BSI audits are quite a, quite a bit simpler these days. Um, in the old, I mean, we've been registered since 1991. So a BSI audit normally for us would be a full day visit. Whereas it, a lot of time is sifting through filing cabinets, pulling pieces of paper out to satisfy the information he needs. We can now simply, from the works order number, if he looks at a, a, a drawing on the shop floor, we can pick the works order number out, go back into the office, and at the push of a button, we can print off a full traceability report for that works order. And that satisfies any criteria that he's going to need. Oh, so that just makes it a lot simpler and a lot, lot quicker, a lot more efficient for you guys. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot more painless for me uh, having to sit there and talk to an auditor all day. Yeah. Um, because effectively, I just show him the piece of paper, and he just writes the information down he needs. Brilliant. It sounds like a really fantastic system. Worked really well for you. A quick summary of how it's worked. Well, DataStrap basically has it streamlined the the efficiency of the management of the company um, to an extent. I'm currently president of the BTMA. Uh, so I, I do spend a fair bit of time and I've done for a number of years on BTM Air business. I think if we hadn't have had data track in place, I'd have struggled to, to give the time away. Oh, great, great insight into it and thank you very much, Phil. Thank you, cheers.